You're watching the TC MMA podcast. Now, as we move forward into uh, the Q and A, it's going to be dominated today. Uh, Two hundred and twenty-two comments on Jake Paul versus Mike Tyson. We obviously won't get through all those, but man, that's probably a record or at least close. Chris Lee says, "Look at the rules. Totally disrespectful to Tyson. Headgear. Tag in your brother. Weigh in. Get out. He's scared. Paul can't handle him. Period." Nick Corey fires back. Some people believe everything they hear. Pick up your phone, type in the rules. It's really not that hard. I know your day is busy, brother, but just do a little research before you trust everything you hear. Yeah. David Shirley weighs in. Chris Lee, so you heard that rumor and thought it was real. No, none of the stuff will fly in an official boxing match. That's why I read that and I was like, what? Kevin Bell. Chris Lee, this is uh, wrong. Jake Paul said... On a live stream the other day, these rules are wrong. Won't you, uh, uh, what you are saying? Yeah. Chris Lee, I heard they changed the rules. Yeah. So that those rules are not, uh, true. Thank goodness. Chad Tenberg says, being judgmental about his age is your first mistake. A lot of older men, uh, will beat a, a lot of younger guys. Knowledge and being hungry. Tyson is hungry. I believe it. And a lot of people believe this thing's fixed anyway, but I believe, listen, I believe Tyson going there and win in the first two rounds, but I'm banking on the fact that that's not going to happen. I'm banking on the fact that Tyson's going to go in there and get tired because he's 57 years old. Maybe 58 by fight time or close to it. I mean, the guy is near 60. Come on, y'all. Please, man. Grayson Vaughn. Really, really funny analogy. Tyson is so far above this challenge, he is going to destroy Paul. And Joe Harris says, yeah, he's 100% correct. And I'm telling you right now, ladies and gentlemen, everybody is with Mike Tyson. I haven't seen one yet for Jake Paul. Mike McCullough, Tyson didn't want that fight. He wants this one. So sit down with that nonsense. I mean, you got listen, everyone's got some points here. Robbie Rivera, Tyson going to win. How long ago was the Roy Jones Jr. fight exactly? Tyson been in the gym since that, then putting in the work, training, and trying to uh, get himself uh, to where he used to be. The Tyson we're seeing now is 100% different Tyson than the Tyson we saw. Yeah, I'm, uh, okay. But he's still 57 years old. Mike Tyson is 57 years old. Jake Paul's like 20-something, maybe 30. I don't even know. But it's a major difference, and it, it's a factor in this one. Rick Kempkins Jr. says Tyson carried Jones Jr. through that fight. He could have hurt Jones Jr. bad, and I think he knew it. I, d I don't know, man. I, I just don't know. Troy Brown, not a real match. They have already acted out the whole thing and created a script. Just a money grab from all you people who think it's real. This is not a title shot or anything that matters. They are already rich and just getting richer. But Tyson doesn't need the money, does he? I mean, I don't think he does. Tyson doesn't need the money. Tyson's not taking this fight for the money. I think he's taking this fight because he really believes that he can win. And it, I, I find it hard to believe that it'd be scripted. You never know. It's not like I have come through a Jake Paul fight and said, yeah, that might not have been real. I definitely have. But I just can't see Tyson doing that. I mean, Tyson, he, he, I just can't believe he can even do that. I believe if Tyson steps in the, uh, in the ring, he's ready to to KO somebody. Like, I think Tyson's coming in for real. But even with that, I still say Jake Paul gets to round three, and then you're going to immediately see things change. And uh, Jake Paul uh, is going to win this fight. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Listen, it's not like I'm perfect. I say this all the time. Anything could happen. I mean, absolutely anything. But in terms of making a pick, I got to go with Jake Paul in this one because Mike Tyson is 57 freaking years old. <laughs> Some of you guys are drinking the Kool-Aid of the old Tyson. This isn't the old Tyson. It's a whole new game now. I'm 40, and if I fought my 20-year-old self, I might have a chance, but if it goes three or four rounds, I'm going to be in serious trouble, no matter how much I train. I'm just... You know, you get up there, especially when you're in your, I mean, I can't imagine. It. I got a way, long ways to go from 57, and I'm tired now. I can't imagine how Tyson's feeling. I mean, I just don't see it happening, y'all. 
But listen, I respect the opinions all day, especially 222 of them all for Tyson. And if we really read through them, I'd say 210 out of 222 are for Tyson. You have to really dig through there to find one for Paul. But it is what it is, man. I just got to give you, you know, and I've gone against Jake Paul almost every time, but not in this one. I can't do it. He's going to fight. Wait. He's going to fight. Wait. Hold your breath till the end of the night. Last fight of call, UFC at its height. Yeah. Bringing that thunder with all his might. Say, step up. Step up, step up. Wanna fight? Huh? Hold up. Think twice. Ah. Gladiator assassin. Reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass.